Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome to my new LP. This is Let's Play Bastion. Now, Bastion is a game I found out about a few years back. My friend introduced it to me, said, I think you'll like it, and I gave it a shot. Now, I knew nothing about Bastion at all, nothing about the story, nothing about the gameplay, but I instantly fell in love with it, and it's now one of my favorite games of all time. I'll be like Bioshock, that's pretty cool. Now the world of Bastion is just beautiful, the gameplay is really fun, the music is amazing, and the narrator is pretty good too. The game has its own narrator who kind of talks about your adventure, and he does a fantastic job, so for most of the LP I will be kind of quiet and leaving him to do his work. Now I will talk if we get a new weapon, a new building shows up, a new enemy, something important happens, and I'll also be talking between levels because you stop at a place between levels where you can get like upgrades and all that, so... I'll be talking then, but most of the time I will be pretty quiet, so yeah, that is about it. Let's get started. Now there is an easy mode you can pick if you want, but I'll be going for normal. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. See what I mean? The world of Bastion is already so beautiful, I love it. Anyway, this is our first weapon, which I believe is called the Sail Hammer. The place we're in is called Sailondia, so it makes sense. Anyway, the hammer despite being the first weapon in the game is also one of the best. I love it a lot. It's powerful, very versatile, very useful, and I'd recommend it to any beginners. Now, because this is an LP, I'll try and, you know, spin things up a bit, use different weapons every mission, but I'll be using the hammer quite a lot because I do love it. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Now these little blue gems, I forget what they're called, but they're used to buy upgrades, so they're very, very important to get. Let's smash this up a bit, see if we can find any more. You can do like roll attacks, you can also stand in place, do some attacks like this. It's a really, really good. Kid weapon. just rages for a while. <laughs> I love that line. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. And this is the second weapon, the Fang Repeater. Now, unlike the hammer, I'm not a big fan of the repeater. Um, it does get better when you upgrade it later on, but for now, it is a really, you know, low ammo count, just doesn't do much damage. Overall, it's kind of meh. Like I said, it does get better later on, but for now, I wouldn't really use it that much. And then, he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Did I seriously do that? Kids wow. worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. This can heal ya? Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. City Crest, a memento. An identification badge from the old days. All those on official business for the city hear the Star of Ceylondia. It is said to represent warmth, labor, and sacrifice. A fashion accessory covered in soot. Holds great value of the sentimental variety. Also holds her family in check. Best hang on to it just in case. The game is kind of difficult to use on a keyboard since you don't need to go in eight directions, but I'll try my best. 
It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him before his drinking did. I'm trying to decide if I should get rid of him or not. Like, respect then the kid dead. Then finds his trusty shield. Goodbye, Rondi. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. Try and destroy these crates before they come out. Last of them. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Oh, that guy attacks fast. I think we can't handle them. The kid Last sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Now, this is a second range weapon, the breaker's bow. And unlike the fang repeater, I really like it. It's a good range weapon, does good damage. And you feel like oh, when the kid flashes, he does extra damage. So yeah, very versatile weapon overall. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. It's a good combination with the hammer. should draw the string all the way back. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. A stretch of knees guts, prized by bowers and pelt bull fans. One more reason for the popularity of beast hunting. This is used to upgrade weapons, so make sure to pick them up when you find them. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Let's see if we can get this guy with the shield. Right back at you. Oh yeah, got it. The shield can reflect bullets and it can also protect you from them, so a very good thing to use. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. This is our first skill, Whirlwind, which uses the hammer, and does that. He's a mighty fast learner. And also great at wasting tonics. Kid better watch his step. He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. So the arsenal lets you change your the weapons and skills over? The arsenal kid can pick the best tools for the job. Exactly, I'll be keeping with this. Although we do have Dancing Shot. Uh, it causes the arrow to bounce from target to target, that uses a breaker's bow. And Bolt Burst, which uses a Fang Repeater. A spiral of bolts that deals damage in every direction. But I'll be keeping this. And this is the distillery where we can One get... One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Exactly. Pretty much upgrade. So max health, a critical hit, and absorb stray fragments. That's what those blue things are called. I'll be getting the fetching fizz, because I don't want to walk around and spend time collecting them. I am lazy. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. These things spawn squirts, so make sure to take them out first. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. 
The Bastion's real close now. Chunk of alloy, the smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Oh, there's a lot of them. These guys get smaller every time you hit them. Before they go away completely. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Put some at his misery. And level two. Anything I missed around here? Doesn't look like it. Let's move on. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. That's close. Kid just keeps running. Somersaulting like crazy. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where he needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. A chunk of precious alloy found deep underground. The staple died of gas fellas, also used in all manner of industry. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. <laughs> Just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.